The United States Peace Index is the first time the American states have been ranked according to their peacefulness. Peace isn't just about whether a country is at war or not, it's also about how violent our communities may be. The U.S. Peace Index measures this by looking at five key indicators. The number of homicides, incidents of violent crimes, number of people in prison, number of police officers, and availability of small arms. The most peaceful state in America this year is Maine, followed by a number of northeastern states. See how these states fared on each of the five indicators. At the other end of the scale, Louisiana is the least peaceful state, with a high homicide and incarceration rate, followed by a number of states spread across the southeastern and western regions of America. The U.S. Peace Index shows that America has become a little more peaceful during the past two decades. Homicide and violent crime has dropped substantially since 1991, the levels not seen since the 60s and 70s. However, some states have deviated dramatically from this trend. Measuring the index against a number of socioeconomic factors, the research has found that the best environments for peace are those that provide greater access to education, health, and economic opportunity. Peace is desirable in and of itself, but it can also have a major effect on the economy. If, for example, the U.S. had the same levels of violence as neighboring Canada, this improved state of peacefulness would have a positive economic effect of around $361 billion a year. This economic impact would have the potential to generate 2.7 million new jobs, equal to lowering America's unemployment rate by 20%.